Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of EU4, The Art of Sweden. We're still in our giant war against France, Big Blue Blob against Big Blue Blob. We're going to try to hunt down what may be the last remnants of the French army. Uh, of course, Tuscany might still have some troops. I have no idea. I haven't babysat Tuscany in a while. Obviously, the Netherlands are out of contention, right? Yeah, they have they have nothing. They have a little bit of manpower, but they're being fully sieged at this point. And Tuscany, 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 Tuscany. Tuscany has nothing. Okay, good. Yeah, they are they are completely broken. I just have to make sure I don't get like sneak attacked somewhere and lose something for some stupid reason. Okay, you're arriving there. Battle of Lyonnais. We're gonna chase you all the way down to Provence with force march on, and hopefully it'll be a full stack wipe. Because France has no manpower. I mean, they haven't had manpower in a while. They're just living off of, I assume, mercenaries. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that's the case. Oh, um, you know what? I still have money. Let's continue supporting those Castilian rebels, assuming there's any chance of them breaking. Yeah, or C Catalonian, not Castilian. Catalan. Down here. Mm-hmm. All right. Should be able to catch them. We got the force march on. Nice. Yeah, we are getting the minus two, which sucks. Can we break them before the retreat flag goes away? Uh, it seems unlikely, especially with our difference in base morale. Actually makes it quite a bit harder to stack wipe. Nope, we got it. Excellent. Uh, you are good. Let's go ahead and wait for that to reset. We will turn off our force march. And I think... Do I go full carpet siege at this point? I gotta be careful. They could, they've got too much territory probably for me to be able to do that uh, successfully. Tell you what, I will just split. I'll go to Limousine and Auvergne, and then we'll figure out what we wanna do after that. Um, force limit's still quite low, and mostly I just need um, infantry. What? Okay, these templates always do weird, bizarre stuff. There you go. Just more infantry. To replace the ones that die, and then I do a consolidate. But that's okay. It's a fast way to rebuild the infantry, and it's been paying off relatively well. Uh, you are going to be more people for the English Channel. Go. More people arriving here. Tell you what, I can probably split you up and send some people over there. Wow. It takes a long time to siege these uh, provinces at this point. Won the siege of Antwerp. Nice. We're under attack in Barry, are we? For reals? Oh, kind of for real. Hatch and go. Detach a siege and go. We're gonna go there. Stat will blow up that. Anyway, let's turn on Force March and do one of those. I'm sure we'll be okay, but uh, let's not uh, push it too much. You over here, I'm gonna split and put some of you in Bourbon. Mmm, Bourbon. Well, they even reinforced. Yeah, all right. I'm happy I'm force marching with a proper army over there. Again, I'm always surprised at France's ability to just keep showing up with troops. They have enough land and enough tax base that I think that's, um, you know, they can they can keep getting mercs and keep running a war. Makes a big difference, but they've got to be running out of juice. Boom. All right. Won that battle. Um, split you in half. Actually... I will just detach a siege so that I can have a proper army go after Poitou. Force march. Oh, we still won't get them. Where are they going to go? Paragord. Chase them down there. Bunch more troops, mostly just infantry, which makes for pretty shitty sieges. So ideally, what I want to do is find an army that's all cannons and then group them up. Tell you what, I'll send these guys to Bourbon, because it looks like there's a lot of cannons there, and there are. And then I can do a proper split. And these guys are moving fast, and... Oh my god, I'm still not going to catch them. Good god. You're going to Bourbon? You're, you're not going to Bourbon. I got a bunch of units there. They're, they're going to change their mind at the last minute. I've seen the, the AI do that before. Well, we caught them, so it's kind of a moot point. Keep just finishing off all the French troops. Uh, I was looking a little dicey for a second there. And they're going to reinforce. 
All right. I'm always got to be very paranoid of the French troops. They are very, very, very powerful. Very powerful. Especially when you're going in with, you know, basically no morale in the first place. Not to mention, you know, weak armies that need to be consolidated. Um, go and kick some more ass. Just to make sure. Can't have too much overkill. <laughs> Kent is going to go. They're going to, like, Haiti's going to take all of Ireland. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not, there's no war score contribution, basically. Breda is done. So we will move you into France somewhere. Right over there. Cambrai is done. Oh, you're just cannons. We're going to send you to Ile de France. Every time I try to send, you know, more people in Ile de France to get it to go a little faster, stuff goes wrong. Split you and go there. That's the other thing I could be doing, really, to try to neutralize some of this income. Uh, let's go ahead and merge you up. Oh, you have no ships here left anymore at all. Okay, detach a siege. We're going to send you... We're going to start doing some proper blockades. Should be fine. This is going to leave... Yeah, only transports, though. Makes me a little unhappy. Anyway, we'll leave the transports going that way, but we'll keep the heavies there. There we go. All right, I like that. All right. Finally starting to get some real progress here in France. Uh, this army, I'm going to get you to keep trying to chase these guys down. Actually, let's go ahead and... Oot. We don't have much of a front line, but that's okay. They, they don't have enough troops to, like, you know, get a big flanking bonus against me or anything like that, so... We're going to be all right. Mm-hmm. Double fleets in the channel. Siege of Kent is over. Damn. Uh, I'll go to Land's End. Shady people has expired in Scandinavia. All right. No more shady people here. Bit of a skirmish there. That doesn't matter. We'll move you to Normandy. Bit of a skirmish there. That doesn't matter. So, yeah, you just sit tight. That's fine. We'll detach. Send you here. I always get confused. The coast of Brittany has no ports. You do not need to blockade there. I have to keep telling myself that very, very, very explicitly. Can we catch these guys? Oh, no more supporting rebels. Well, unlike in the old system, where if the rebels didn't trigger, like, you, you increase the chance of rebellion, and if it didn't trigger, it's like, well, I guess I didn't get anything out of this. This could still have progressed the the rebelness, right? Because of the, the new system, it increases the unrest. So it helps to move them forward. And I can just, of course, send my spies right back. And why don't I? Plus four and rest. Yeah, there we go. Keeping it 9%. And that's in two provinces. So that's an 18% chance per month for each one. They might be spending a bunch of military points uh, to try to put down the rebellions. Which would be kind of funny and awesome. France were forced to do that. Let you in half, do something like that. Catch a basic siege. Main armor. Won the Siege of Holland. Nice. And won a battle. So all these guys can move down, continue moving into France. Please and thank you. 34% war score. And certainly France is broken. Now, so the problem is I can't sit and take a bunch of land from the Netherlands. Makes me super, super sad. Because, uh, well, I do have a fair amount of admin. You know, this war against France might take a while. Oh, it's the admin, the, 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 the diplo cost. Can I focus? I know I can do it very soon. In one year. Yeah, it's the diplomatic cost of piecing out the Netherlands. That's going to be too much. Maybe I won't piece them out. Maybe I'll just leave them around. 150% war score for a vassal. War reparations. Oh, cost no points. Really? No points to break alliances either. Really? War reparations. All your money. Break with France and Spain. And um, give up your claims in anywhere in Scandinavia. Okay, I like that. Again, I'd like to grab some territory, but I got to save all my Diplo points and admin points for grabbing stuff from France. 
I like it. It's a lot of money. Plus, Netherlands make decent money, so the war reparations are also going to be quite sexy. Netherlands will give Scandinavia 10%. And I'll treat as France and Spain. Claims in Scandinavia. Give me money. All right. Send the mans. Get out. Boom. I think it reset the, uh, the siege. Kind of funny. Uh, We're going to have to walk through friendly territory. Liege, is it one of mine? No. I can walk through it, but uh, probably because I'm black flagged. Uh, this is friendly territory over here. So as long as I go to Berg first, I think then I can go down here and lose the exile status. Um, I'm going to split you in half, send one of you here. The other one, I'll just do a detach and send you down here, but turn off the force march, please, and thank you. Here again, detach a minimal siege and just move down to the front. Okay. So we lost a little of our war score, I believe, but that's okay. Um, if we did any damage to Tuscany, they'd be pretty willing, I would expect, to uh, white piece out. Oh, I don't want to spend any diplo points reducing war exhaustion. I need to keep my points around. And maybe I shouldn't have annexed. No, I got to annex every time I get a chance. I mean, come on. Pretty obvious. Uh, this is a pretty derped out composition here. Hold on. So is this. Wow. Sieges are going to go fast, but uh, we don't really have the numbers. Oh, there we go. This is all... Hey, what? Hold on. Send you down that way. So there's no cannons over here at all. Hardly worth sieging, but it stops them from summoning troops there. Summoning troops? What is this, magic? Trading an iron. Cheaper regiments. Nice. We got a conquest. All right. Group this up. Um, it'd be nice to just go out and catch them. Not really in a position to do that. I'll just split you in half and send half you here. So we can reinforce. We can do some things. It'll be okay. Okay, you're not black flagged anymore. Move down there. Didn't realize it would cancel your movement. I guess when you toggle in and out of a, um, of a exile zone, it does that. That makes some sense. Ile de France, going soon. Technology, yes, I gotta save my admin points. I mean, we have more admin points than we need, really. Oh, let's go ahead and tax that. We can afford that. They don't have enough liberty desire to be a threat. I'm going to... Whoa! Move in with everyone. Especially since we have a terrible composition in those places, and we might lose tons and tons and tons of units. In fact, you should... Force March. You should definitely Force March as well, especially since you have the leader. Do we have any infantry in this one? Yeah, we do. We have no leader, but at least there's a tiny bit of a front line. And they're all infantry. On the Siege of Luxembourg. Oh, lost the NX subjects, which will increase our, um, our diplomatic reputation, which means we will annex faster. It costs us more points per month. But it's the same total amount of points, so this is okay. And also, as soon as it's done annexing, then that gets rid of one of our other um, relationship overages, which is good. All right, you know what? I'm going to send you down here where all my cannons are, and we can hopefully group a proper composition. So we are losing some pretty significant numbers because we do have a fr weak front line. No, we've got enough of a front line to cover the combat with that's effectively going on, so we're okay. All right, I mean, we've obviously won at this point, but... There's, now it's about trying to become a little bit more efficient, which is hard. I mean, part of the problem, we have our entire army is inside of France, which means our entire army, no matter where it is, is being suggest, subjected to the full defensive, um, um, the full defensive attrition penalty, which is pretty harsh. Where are these guys going? Go down there. All right, want a little token battle there. Let you do something like that. So again, these are pretty cannon heavy. Oh, now hold on. There's more troops over there than I expected. Still pretty Kevin he uh, cannon heavy configuration. But we'll move in this general direction because they might go for one of my small stacks and then we'll be nearby. In fact, it looks like they're going to go to Lyonnais. Can't reach there directly from here. But I will welcome an attack if they want to do it come around from the other side. So, reinforce from everywhere where I can. 
go. We can detach a few sieges in a few of these places. Get some extra numbers. All right. I mean, worst case scenario, if we do lose one of these little fights, it's not the end of the world, but obviously we'd rather avoid that. You can probably go and work the English Channel trade node. Thank you very much. Got lots of money in the bank. It says we're losing here, but that's because this number doesn't properly calculate in the war reparations. So we're getting, look at this, we're getting eight per month from the Netherlands. We're still getting 21 a month from Spain. Two more years of that. I think at first we weren't getting much because, of course, their income is shot after a war, but then it quickly starts to bounce back and it adds up beautifully. Like, I love, we've made so much money over the course of the game from um, from this bullshit. It's great. Oh, we have you over there. I don't know if this counts, if this will, that'll get rid of a black flag. It does. How interesting. I guess it's occupied. It sort of kind of counts as my territory. Oops. That's less than ideal. Not that it's a big deal. Oh, well, all right. Or we'll start supporting rebels, maybe. We lost the siege of somewhere I don't care about, and we did lose that Battle of Savoy. Oh, well. So, because they still have... Whoa! Because they still have land, they can still summon dudes, or build dudes. Uh, that is pretty brutal. Gascoigne on the 15th. Um, hmm. Oh, we're not going to be able to escape on time. Let's swing this army from way over here. Force march you towards the west. I'm just going to move you down a little bit. Yeah, so we'll get wrecked there. And they're going to keep punching through. Maybe, um, hmm. Decent composition, no leader. You know what? I'm going to force march. I'm going to try to cast some of these guys out. I, I always, I mean, everyone always tells me that. I always like carpet siege too soon. We don't quite have the situation under control, but it does speed up things a lot. I'm pretty convinced of that. Oh, I have some excess troops over here I forgot about. Um, we can move some of these guys down. Skirmish in Savoy, which has been resolved. Um, it might be a good idea to just annoy Tuscany. Tuscany might be willing to get out at this point. Nope. A little, we have a little bit of positive war score. And we have some of our dudes... Wait, Serbia? What? Serbia? Wow, they're in three wars. Okay. Yeah, they're going to get pretty tired of this really fast. So, we're all right. A bit of an army may or may not be required. Ooh, are they going to reinforce over here? Well, they're not, there's no way they're going to complete the attack. They might. They don't have much of a front line. Yeah, they did actually. Let's, I should have done that right from the start. Is uh, force march these guys over here. Same thing with that. I think we can hold. We are losing a few more people, and again, we have the lower base morale. But there's no way France can do anything to me anymore. Is there? I hope not. God. Mm-hmm. Now, at some point, we will start to get call for peace, especially since we've had the war goal for such a long time. But we can hold for a little while longer. We're good. Uh, let's go ahead and send some more infantry in here. We'll win that little battle. You can move down to here. Ulster. Yeah. We're going to lose all of Ireland. Again, that's not really generating much in the war of negative war score. Or much in the way of negative war score, though. Um, let's move you down to here. Let us merge you up. Chase. With force march on. We've got a pretty beat up front line here. But I'm not going to do a consolidate. Not going to be required. Bohemia. Lithuania never came in. Right, yeah, because they had, uh, it was distance, and they're kind of afraid of me, which I can't blame them for. Uh, oh, you're going to chase all the way to Aragon. 
No ships just wandering around. Oh, we had a few more recruited troops over here. Mercs. We should definitely put them to work. And at some point, we'll have to get rid of all our mercs. I wish there was a button in a menu somewhere to just disband mercs very quickly instead of having to hunt around between all my armies. But it's not like it's that bad. Just like a small wish. The fact that France hasn't had any manpower for a very, very long time is definitely what's enabling this entire victory. Also, the fact that they are um, getting a little war exhausted is probably increasing their um, their revolt risk quite a bit. In fact, I'm a little concerned about leaving some dudes behind here for the revolt risk. These guys are safe. There's nowhere France has access through Spain. So these guys are completely uh, secure as long as I keep guarding that area. Let's go ahead and um, we can look at the boot on. Good. Let's go and chase these guys down. On the siege of Bourgogne. Netherlands announced uh, Austria's arrival. Okay, that's fine. Um, you over here can jump in down there. And we should be able to reinforce at a relatively good rate. And then probably initiate full and utter carpet siege at this point, actually. Yeah, 100%. God, France takes so long to fall. Or the Ile de France, I should say. I mean, I keep moving troops sort of in and out, but they have had a fair number of troops and broken walls for a really, really long time. Yay. And all that. Um, lots of infantry sitting around over here. That's where it all is. All the people that didn't die actually participating in battles. Uh, go detach, move down here. It's a Dover. Oh, right, because we finally booted them out of Calais. Uh, this is seven heavies against one heavy, one light. We're fine. Actually, did they reinforce? No, it's all transports and stuff. There's no way they stay up. Although we can move in here. We don't have to block 80 in this stuff anymore. Let's go ahead and do that. Integration is a slow process. Okay, so we still have 137 diplomatic points in the bank right now. We're no longer spending points on annexing and in fact well, we're not quite there yet What's our stats we're at seven of six now one of that is actually cleaves which i probably could have gotten rid of some time ago is their access they might i wonder i mean they're part of the hre so they probably wouldn't become vassalized actually no they're totally in favor of, of being vassalized holy crap i mean obviously there's another diplomatic reputation relationship let me get back to you. Let me save up my Diplo points now, but Cleves, we may uh, we may get there. In fact, what I could do while I'm just sitting around, doesn't tie up one of my diplomatic uh, relationships, is I could just sit and improve relations with them. I'll have to come back, though. Oh! Rebels. Scum. Yeah, not much of a front line at all, but... Luckily, they don't have enough troops for it to matter. Now, those rebels will take a while to DC jet. Actually, it's going pretty goddamn fast. What the hell? Moving some troops there. Mm, definitely have to get a, a stack ready to go and fight them. All right, let's group up in Paris. I hear it's lovely this time of year. Do, 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 do. There we are. France wants to peace out. These, wow, Sunda, uh, Siege of Artois is done, good, we'll just have you stand around, actually you can go and help out the uh, Heinachian ones, this is still going on, cheapest, detach a siege, go and help out, or that we might lose more ships than we needed to over there, boom, boom, Uh, yeah, we may as well kill these guys, too. They're going to desiege that in way less time than it takes me to siege. Well, if I go in there with, like, my siege leader plus a crap ton of guns, we're going to be fine. Okay. Everyone stop. Light ships. You can go back to protecting trade in, say, the English Channel. 
And these guys detach and move down there. Okay. Good and lovely. A little skirmish there. Navarra at one. Go ahead and detach a siege. I mean, I do want to go and reinforce over there, but I'll, I want to complete the uh, the siege status down here. Actually. Lost the siege of Connaught. Almost all of Ireland has been occupied. They'll do it too. Uh, no one's got a leader over there. I probably have one that's not assigned with a little bit of siege power. There we go. Just to try to finish France or Paris off a little bit more. Go detach. Actually, let's go and stomp these guys. Mm-hmm. And I know detaching sieges results in some ill balance sometimes of uh, troops. That's okay. That hasn't really been the problem. The problem is just the front line gets decimated and there there it is. But I'm not going to build like more infantry at the start of the war. Artillery wins battles. I don't mind being artillery rich and then having to scramble a little bit to make sure my front line is in decent shape. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode. I've no, I don't think I've ever seen a siege stat that high before. It's because we have like so much wall damage. Um, here, level three levels of wall damage. And now we've just shown up with a proper number of cannons and a little bit of a siege leader. So that's going to fall away, right away. Uh, probably next tick, which is going to take a little while to get there. Then we can clear out the rebels. And yeah, we're only 51%. That's because there's a lot of overseas holdings that are still there. How's, um, is there anything going on here? No, I guess not. It's down here. None of which we're interacting with in any way whatsoever. So, interesting. What, what is this? Ragusa's in on this? Bruce is in on lots of things. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll wrap this up. And next episode, I think it's just going to finish off the cleanup duty. We'll probably be able to go up to a higher speed and finish all the sieges. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.